I'm team breezy more than the next guy. I've broke night before when I couldn't burn as a kid and I had to burn in the block. Go outside, burn a L2, run inside, watch six or seven breezy videos, be in my room popping and locking and shit. My high goes down, run back outside, go smoke one to two more joints, run back inside, watch a whole nother marathon of Chris Brown videos once again. When I first was bringing shorties to my crib, Lord, 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 my mom said she knew I was on demon time if she heard through the room. Take you down, I really wanna take you down. Shit, and I don't know what you're here. Somebody punch him out door and keep it moving. That was my mom cock blocking. My mom was a hot, Hall of Fame badge cock blocker. Hall of Fame. And she said she knew when to strike when she heard that Chris Brown coming out that room. But the weirdo stuff sometimes be a little crazy with other niggas. I never in my life thought, maybe because I'm not light-skinned and got freckles, but I never in my existence of thinking I've ever thought to go dress like Chris Brown, go outside and try to catfish me some vagina. Like, that just never crossed my mind. Y'all niggas got to get, y'all, no, I'm not going to lie. You know what? I ain't even going to hate on this one. This one I got to... For the hustle, for the hustle, because this nigga is dedicated to get some vagina not being his lame self. He's like, nah, Breezy did way too much work. Why would I start from ground zero? These people dress like Michael Jackson every day on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> to mess up the game and do breezy today's michael jackson i'm trying to give this man the benefit of the doubt of what made him do such a thing of what made him do such a thing he looks like chris brown if the drugs really hit you know they'd be like nah breezy's on drugs i'm like no my man's not no he's not and if he is he's still great this nigga look like if the drugs really hit i'm telling you we got the wish app chris brown in here we're on the way to 10,000 subscribers sub up sub up sub up see what breezy gotta say about this impersonator is he a fan is he not a fan is he entertained is he not entertained we shall see it's lame as f impersonating me you look like you're missing a chromosome hilarious be you my n-word you could never be me so stop it before i slap the s out of you that's wild that's wild like imagine you painting your whole life after somebody you out here impersonating the next man the next man that you impersonate is like yo i'm gonna slap fire out of you keep playing with my name brother brother you keep playing with my name and he got the chest tattoos and everything zirconian diamonds because he couldn't afford breezy's chain nah that's crazy with the handsome squidward face to the left uh -huh. With the same Chris Brown braids, now nah, this nigga's a Hall of Fame meat rider. We haven't even seen many of these. Now nah, he needs to get put in the Hall of Fame if he has. A, if there's a Hall of Fame for meat riding, because this is crazy. This is to the next level. Nah. Nah. Did this nigga get a cheekbone job to look like Chris Brown? Did he get his nose done? He's even trying the facial expressions and everything. Like, again, I've seen enough Breezy videos. So Breezy be doing polls to the extremists, but doing those facial expressions when he's singing and shit. So you could tell this nigga is really a Chris Brown fanatic. This ain't even a fan. The people told me a fan is short for fanatic. Now this nigga gets a full name. He deserves the full thing. He don't deserve a short one. Fanatic. Because this is crazy. Some girl ruined this nigga's life. He was a young, light-skinned man, and some girl was like, you know who you look like? Chris Brown. And they go into the mirror and say, nah, I really do look like Breezy. And took it to the next level of levels. See, niggas like this have to grow up in the hood. Because if you grow up in the hood, old jokes aside, they going to violate you so bad. You're going to get roasted so bad that you're going to go home and not want to be breezy no more. You're going to take this costume off and slam it on the floor. <laughs> ah! Son, do you still need the perm tomorrow? We still going to perm your hair to look like Chris Brown? No, cancel it. It's one of those because in the hood, we would have violated, homie. Homie would have got roasted so bad he would have thought of it being himself. It's not even that. You know what? It's cool. I'll go back to being Jaquan. It's not even that serious. My fault. My fault. He would have apologized. The author is him, and he hearted Chris Brown. This nigga is such a fanatic that he saw a breezy noticed him and he don't even care he's like he's had like a version of him with one less chromosome i 
I still look like him though. He said, I still look like him though. What do you guys think about all this? Should this grown ass man just go get a job? Should this grown ass man think about something else to do other than being Chris Brown for the day? Let me know down below what you think about all this. Subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts. Is this weirder than the dudes that go out there and try to be Michael Jackson? They ask you for $5 if you want a picture in Times Square or 10 if you in Vegas? Is this any weirder? Or 15 if you on Hollywood Boulevard? Let me know down below, is this any weirder? Or is this just a new age? Like, is this what the kids are going to do in the future? Instead of being Michael Jackson on the block, they're going to be a whole bunch of Chris Browns. Let me know down below. Hey, if you a light-skinned nigga that needs a job, you got to gave you an idea right now. I just gave you an idea.